Hey, what's up? It's Greg from Fishing Tech Quarters, and today is March 3rd, 2024. I think this is the first fish report update I've shared for this year. I apologize for being missing in action. Uh, I had a lot of different things going on. I wanted to get a March 1st update to you all. Uh, that didn't work out. I was actually at the, at the boat show Atlantic City. Uh, right now, I'm just strolling up here on the beach, a couple blocks away from my house here, Long Beach Island, Mid-Island Surf. Um, it's right around noontime, dead high tide here. Just want to share a little bit of updated fish report for Long Beach Island area, kind of south central Jersey. Uh, right now, we got striped bass, uh, we got some perch, and it'll be a good opportunity to start winter flounder fishing too. Opening of Back Bay striped bass was on March 1st, a couple days ago. Heard a couple reports already from the local area. I uh, actually was hearing reports when the season was still closed by the uh, call them out of season lawbreaker uh, poachers, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we had it weigh in from Carl Harbin for American Anglers. Fish was called out of town. A uh, long time shop supporter, uh, supports a lot of different tackle shops around the state. He uh, stopped by because he was in the area with the fish he caught. Um, also heard some other reports. I know store staffer Paul's been getting after it. Uh, catch some fish locally here in the bay. But basically I can share uh, local Long Beach Island fishing on the surf. Definitely few and far between. Water's ice cold right now. I would not be fishing the surf. Um, probably for another say 30, 45 days. Uh, normally, the month of March is absolutely dead on the LBI surf, uh, normally mid to late April, and uh, some years uh, late April can get really good and even May can be a phenomenal month. Uh, right now on the LBI front, I can share we've got uh, some big big surf uh, kind of pumping on the beaches. I'd call it somewhere in the range of the, uh, I don't know, three to five foot, two to four foot, but it's a powerful ground swell we've got in the water right now. Um, water's definitely churned up, a little on the brown side, don't see much weed here at the high tide line. But all that information really doesn't help because I don't think you should be fishing the surf. Um, you should be fishing the bay side, early season spots. There's a lot of different areas to be fishing in Barnegat Bay, uh, also the rivers and tributaries. Uh, bloodworms will be your number one best bait in the springtime. Bloodworms are a phenomenal springtime bait. You can also fish in, uh, some smaller lures, soft baits, hard baits. Uh, when I say soft baits, small paddle tails like a Kettle Creek, maybe a Zoom Fluke, something like that, a Finesse. Um, also take a look at some Z-Man, something along those lines. And uh, the classic paddle tail shad, something like a tsunami paddle, um, a paddle shad, paddle tail, would be also a great opportunity, a uh, great, great lure for right now, um, for different opportunities that you have in the springtime. Uh, most of the time you're gonna be fishing a smaller, smaller bait, uh, slender bait, uh, slower retrieve, little twitches, not too fast, um, not, not too aggressive. Normally in the early season, fish are a little more lethargic with the colder water. And uh, as the activity increases with the water temperature, then you kind of switch up to some bigger baits and such. Uh, that goes with regard to this area here, not so much, say, in the farther reaches. Obviously, you'll see uh, Raritan Bay will have the bigger baits, bigger fish, uh, totally different ball game from what we have here in Long Beach Island in the backwaters here. But I can share that rivers have some fish, the tributaries, that's where you want to be fishing. Like I mentioned, bloodworms, also some lures. Um, I can share a little update on perch. I heard a report, uh, actually a number of reports from different customers. Um, uh, one regular angler, Bob Haynes, him and his son have been getting into some good action fishing with the local rivers. Uh, he said he was kind of, you know, having a good time, having a fun time catching, but he was ready for striped bass with a text message he sent me the other day. So it's great to see that. Uh, as far as the beachfront goes, I can share there's uh, definitely some cer certain spots that have a little bit of erosion after the winter wintertime. Uh, there, I saw the article in the sand here. It looks like we have another round of erosion, uh, another round of Beach replenishment coming to Long Beach Island, so I started working on a blog on that topic, which I'm uh, kind of a, a, a big, um, I'll say a big hater on the whole beach replenishment process and what they've done over the years and how they've done it. Uh, I'm not against beach replenishment, but uh, you know, I kind of share a little bit of blog on that. So if you follow fishinglbi.com, be on the lookout for a blog coming from me regards to beach replenishment Long Beach Island. Uh, something else I would like to share right now is the New Jersey Marine Fisheries Council. Uh, fisheries meeting is coming up on March 7th, so that's, that's this up, upcoming week. That is in Galloway at the uh, library. That's where the decisions are going to be made on fluke. Uh, from what I've heard from the most recent advisory board meeting, which was just a couple days ago, heard from three different advisors that were there. Uh, I, I talked to other people in regards to fisheries, I try to stay in the loop on that, that regard. Um, I can share, it looks like number 32 is the landslide uh, popular vote that's going to be uh, three fish at 18 inches so to me that's really not a 30 percent cut like we were pushed down from Atlantic States to me that's more of like looks looks like a liberalization compared to what we had I know some people were big fans of the slots um, it seems to me that there's going to be 
just like every meeting, there's always public comment, but it seems to me that the majority really want that. It seems like that's the direction things are going. If that's the vote that doesn't come out, that would be surprising to me. I'll be at the meeting like I attend 99% of most of the uh, fishery meetings. Uh, I encourage others to either attend or jump onto the uh, Zoom call. You can do it digitally if you can't attend the meeting uh, and voice your opinion. Uh, please, the managers um, and the board really don't want to hear a lifelong story and, and, and X, Y, and Z about the fishery. Uh, they're experts on it. They read a lot of documents. They provided a lot of uh, a lot of information before the meeting, um, and obviously they're, they're at that position for a reason. They're dialed in. Um, so show them the utmost respect, but uh, also show the respect of everyone there, and, and the reason for the purpose for the meeting is to get your opinion on the actual uh, option and not to hear a lifelong story about this, that, and the other thing and how things have changed and why this and why that. Uh, it's, you know, your name, your representation, your, 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 uh, your, 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 uh, your option, you're in favor of, and, uh, you know, kind of a, a short little quick, you know, keep it to like maybe a minute, 30 seconds, uh, maybe not even that. It would be great if we could just do a quick little one, two, three vote with hands and, and call it a day and move through these meetings. Um, but yeah, we'll leave it at that. Um, right now, Fish and Tech is open seven days a week. Uh, we are here for your fishing pleasures. If you want to get your stuff ready to go for the spring season, now would be a great time to stop in Fish and Tech and get geared up. Also, stay tuned to fishinglbi.com. It's Fishing for a blog. Um, like I mentioned, got some updated stuff coming there. I just posted a report, I think it was yesterday, a little bit of information. Uh, and I can share a little bit of up, update on the bay temperature. Uh, it's going to be in the mid to low 40 degree range. I actually don't know what the surf is, but I'm going to take a wild guess and say it's in that same ballpark, probably in the mid 40 degree range. Uh, if I had to take a guess and I did not look at the buoy temperatures, I'm going to guess 44 degrees. Maybe it's 42, maybe it's 45, but I don't think much more than that. But I can share uh, just the other day, I think it was yesterday before, a uh, uh, local friend, Rick Bragg, was moving his boat from uh, Tucker and Marina, Tucker and Creek uh, area. I think he said the water temperature was 47 degrees in the creek. It's one of the reasons why the Tucker area is a great spot uh, for early season fishing. Water's much warmer in those areas. Um, as he entered the bay, he said it dropped down about 43 degree range, and he had about 43 the entire ride back to his house in Beach Haven West. Uh, he lives in the lagoons, and he also shared with me that there are some perch in the lagoons. And uh, like I mentioned before, there's other reports coming from uh, different areas, different anglers um, throughout the local, say, region here with good perch fishing for a number of weeks now. Like I mentioned, striped bass around, and I think right now would be a great time to be looking for, uh, for winter flounder for the next, say, two months. So hopefully that helps you out. Hope you get geared up at Fisherman's Headquarters and get into some good spring fishing. Have a great day.